Hi there, I'm Matt Vanderhaar, Pioneer Field Agronomist from Central Iowa, and I'm showing off some of Pioneer's newest genetics and some of the high yield parameters we're looking at early in the season. And so I happen to be in a section of P21Z71Es. That's a new Pioneer Z Series 2-1 soybean, and we're seeing some flowers initiate here on that first trifoliate. And you'll see flowers initiate from the third to sixth node, and uh, it's nice to see these soybeans uh, flowering here in the first week of June. And I've even seen some flowers on the P30A75E, which is excellent for a 3-0 bean to flower here in the first week of June here in central Iowa. And so that early planting date is excellent for getting these uh, flowers to initiate early, uh, widen open that reproductive period, get pods set, uh, started on, on, the, on the right pace. And then also too, early in the season, uh, it's excellent to have uh, these early planted soybeans really get some biomass growth to them because we've got um, essentially around the V5 stage, we're setting the total number of node potential for a soybean. And so having some good growth, having a good fertility program up front, um, having an early planting date can all improve the potential nodes you might set on a soybean plant. And so since we're past V4, um, these are P26Z78Es. Uh, you can see we've got some good active nodules. We've set those early and past V4, we're starting to really um, produce nitrogen from these nodules. And so we've actually had these soybeans really green up here um, in these V5, V6 stages um, because we're getting through that carbon penalty. We're producing enough nitrogen for the soybean. Um, we actually put 25 pounds of sulfate sulfur on around planting um, for the sulfur needs of the soybean plant, but also to help make sure we have uh, efficient nodulation early in the season. And so um, we can still really see some good growth out of these soybeans. Um, you know, as I think of high yield parameters, I wanna make sure I have uh, a minimal amount of defoliation. This could be a big bug year. We've got gnats flying around me. We don't have cicadas yet here in central Iowa, um, but having an early um, amount of, of good biomass growth and, and good root growth, uh, you know, this is probably still a, a root mass that could be bigger if we had, uh, you know, less water here so far this season. We've had a five to six inches above normal rainfall here in central Iowa and a lot of places since April 1st. So we're really trying to catch up, get some more oxygen to these roots, but um, we'll keep you posted on these Z series throughout the year and uh, show you some of the things we look at from a high yield perspective. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.